Burning a CD of your finished Pro Tools mix is easier than ever. If you own an iPod, then you most certainly have iTunes installed on your computer. Now, in the exporting audio movie, I bounced my mix into my music folder directly from Pro Tools SE. I created a subfolder called Pro Tools SE Mixers, and inside that is my mix. Now, you may have your Finder window configured as Icon, List, or Column View, but either way, you should have no problem locating where you saved your files. Grab your WAV file from the Finder and drag it onto the iTunes icon in the dock. iTunes will open and your mix will be imported and immediately start playing. And just like the Finder, you can view your library by list, icon view, or by cover flow. Nice. Okay, so with the WAV file in iTunes, let's tag the information. I'm gonna come down and hide the Genius sidebar to give us a bit more room. Now I'm gonna hold down the Control key and click on the file. I'm gonna choose Get Info. Then come up to the top and choose the Info tab. And then just start filling out the relevant information for your song. The song name, the year, artist, album, and don't forget the genre. Now once you're done, you can click on the Options tab and even make volume adjustments to your mix. You can apply an EQ preset, definitely won't be needing that of course, and don't forget to rate your song. There's a few more options, but basically that's it. Song is now tagged. Name, artist, and album. Now I'm gonna control click on the title column and enable kind. That way I can differentiate between the type of files that I have in my iTunes library. Okay, burning. Grab the file and drag it to the playlist area, then let go. A playlist will be created. So here's the WAV file that's in your main music library, and here's the playlist you make to be able to burn a CD. With the playlist selected, I'm gonna come down to the bottom of the window and click Burn Disk. Fast as possible, and we want the default audio CD. There are other options, but we want a CD that will play in any audio CD player. Click Burn, and you'll be prompted to insert a blank CD. Put one into the CD tray and close it. The disk will initialize and then continue to burn. Nice. Now once the burn is complete, the CD will mount under devices on the left hand side. You can also see the disc on your desktop. So there's the burn CD, and there is your main library with your main master WAV file. Fantastic.